Yeah, baby. How are you, everybody? Welcome to the world famous Stuttering John podcast with your favorite world famous host, Stuttering John Melendez. Great show last night with Vince the Lawyer. Had a great time. I think I must I think I drank like 10 beers. <laughs> hey man, it was Friday night. I was staying in, you know, not hurting anybody, what you guys would say, except for my liver. But so far, so good on that, in that area. So uh, I feel okay. I swear to you, I, w- I went on Reddit. And literally, Lady K and Shitwear are doing a show about my about my facial hair. <laughs> I mean, seriously. They're obsessed now with my with my mustache or lack thereof. And you can tell right here, I cut myself shaving. Emergency show. They are getting so lame. And Lady K, he is coping big time. We're also going to talk about Elisa Jardana's, uh, the uh, new footage from the um, cop cam. You know, they, and have heard pleading and actually intimating that maybe she'll give him some sex. Uh, You know, you be the judge, but the implication is obvious. And I'm going to play that as well as playing a really great job by Citizen M. Now, I never knew that Aaron Immelt decided to go after my kid. I had no idea. Not really my kid. Go after me. But the interesting thing is, now I can only laugh at his divorce. Now you have awoken a sleeping giant, you dumb fuck. And I'm going to play you that. Thanks to Muttering Jay for getting me that. And I'll I'll play you some clips of the shit wear and Lady K as they cope. Uh, with um, their their losing shows. Last night, Shitway only had Silent Mike on. Imagine a show with Shitway and Silent Mike. <laughs> and I just can't stop winning. I really can't. I mean, it is just fucking amazing. Amazing. It's gold, Jerry. And uh, so we're going to talk about a lot, all that stuff that's going on today in the Dabbleverse. And there's so much. I mean, you know, where do you begin at this point? It's just... uh, uh, (laughs) Every day there's something new. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Uh, I'll tell you off the air, but there's okay. one reason. And uh, let's just say I might get incarcerated. Negro peas. <laughs> oh, he's such a dick. Man. Ms. New York, thanks for the 10 bucks. <laughs> Hi, John. Join us in Vegas. I'm going to Vegas for one reason. One reason only. FK Mammy. <laughs> That's uh. One reason only. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you off the air, but there's okay. one reason. And uh, let's just say I might get incarcerated. Negro peas. Now, you notice how Vince had to like sneak that in. I didn't even realize it. He was taking advantage of my 10 beers. That's a fact. <laughs> uh, hold on. I got to find this shit. And I don't want to hear, oh, why didn't you fucking prepare? Just like when I masturbate, I don't prepare. I don't believe in it. All right, hold on. Freak finger, Johnny. I love this one. This is nice. There's a nice freak finger, huh? And there's, uh, I don't know, they're calling me, is that, I'm Raphael now? Uh, So here we go. Um, Shout out. To Hackverse Anonymous, you guys are getting under Carl's skin. 
Couldn't happen to a better dweeb. So this one I love. You can tell right now. Lady K is big time coping. Hands up to you. I'm happy that I'm doing well. But John would rather see me. So John, Carl, your whole life is saying my name. You say my name more than you say your mom's wife's name. I want you to realize that. And everybody should really realize it. Lady K says my wife says my name more than he says his own wife's name. Let that sink in. In other words, I mean more to Lady K, rightfully so, than his mom wife. Now, every day he's talking about me. <clears throat> now, I know I'm the most successful in this Dabbleverse. I mean, that has been proven a billion times over. But this guy can't stop talking about me. And now he's starting to deal with this, the deterioration of his show. And he ain't liking it. So someone posted on a subreddit, probably a Hackverse or something. They oh, Lady K's coping with Hackverse Anonymous. Wow, Lady K, ain't that the ain't that the bee's knees? I have been dealing with all this for years. Now it's starting to turn on you, and I'm loving it. Da 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 da. And you're you can't handle it. I can. I've had plenty of experience. I worked with Howard Stern, the best. You have no experience except for SUNY Brockport. They showed that my Patreon was down 6% from July of last year until um, April 1st of this year. Yeah, 6%. 6% is a pretty big number, Lady Kmart. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. That's, let's see. Let's see. That's six every hundred. Ooh, that's 60. Every, so that's, a, that's 120 people have bailed on you. Right. And uh, so so we were down 6%. And John is lashed out. He's like, his numbers are plummeting. Yeah. <laughs> You lost 120 paying people. So even if they come in at the lowest tier at, let's say, $5, you lost $600 a month. Maybe that's not a big deal to you, Lady K, but I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my business to be losing that much money. Meanwhile, I'm up 200%. Tanking. They're tanking. <laughs> Lady K can see all he wants. Mike left. Hold on. Here we go. Silent mic laugh alert. <laughs> tanking. They're, They're tanking. Plum. Lady K can see all he wants. His numbers are plummeting. I'm doing way better than him. It's like, is that supposed to be an impression? Saliva throat. Every time you talk, it's like, it's like you're goggling on your own cum. John, you're not even in the same fucking zone. What do you? Lady K, I make more than you. That's a fact. So you can fucking, you can say that all you want. I make more than you. I'm telling you I do. Trust me. I make more than you every month. Skull! So you could have your little cope session here with your two loser friends. Is this, this fucking should be called the Three Stooges. you talking about it's not even close <laughs> we're down six percent april 1st from july of last year what are, you, what are you talking about but well also, in john's mind he just sees someone not doing as well and it, that's a win for him first of all every first of the month everybody's number there we go coping shit way your numbers are all fake so let's not even Next pretend year, you know in the lacy peterson and, and scott peterson murders uh, herbs is it who's that all right all right I... so that's that one. 
Now we'll go to the uh, Shitwayers Anonymous. They should rename that to Shitwayers Anonymous if they can. All righty. Okay. <laughs> I'll play this because it's... look, look, people, people. Oh, another fake. Like, I, I love the title. Fake numbers. Congrats. You were gifted a membership to the Shuli Network. Yeah, they seem to be doing that a lot, huh? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so we were looking at his face, right? And his upper yeah. lip, he's got a stash on the. See, look, this is where. All right. This is the groundbreaking material that you're going to get from the shit wear. They're going to now analyze my mustache. Can it get any lower than this? This is what they consider to be quality content. So we were looking at his face, right? And his upper yeah. lip, he's got a stash on the right-hand side, his right, mm. like stash pubes. But then on the left, it almost looks like he has a stain on his face oh. in the same spot. It is symmetrical, though. Yeah. Give him that. Look. <laughs> look <at this laughs> thing. It's so, I mean, it's so weird. That's weird. Don't support. That's weird. So we were looking at him. I mean, could you imagine this is what you do? This is this is what your life has become. Daddy, what did you do today? Oh, I I I I looked at Stuttering John's face. That's what I did. Daddy, ha, what do you do to make a living? I I analyze Stuttering John's face. So we were looking at his face, right? And meanwhile, look at these three ugly bastards. And they're going to talk about the good looking one. So we were looking at his face, right? And his upper yeah. lip, he's got a stash on the right hand side, his right, mm. like stash pubes. But then on the left, it almost looks like. Could you imagine this is this is what their content is to analyze wow. John's okay. face. Then these aliens bring punch bowls down. <laughs> And there and like and then of course Silent Mike's gonna laugh at anything shit way it says, even though their fucking network is tanking. Is tank hey, look truly I caught myself shaving. Look at that. See, I have hair. You know, I got hair in my head, I got hair in my face. You don't get any hair in your head, do you? And where is log cabin Larry, who declared bankruptcy in 2007? You just can't, and Shitway declared bankruptcy in 2010. You know who didn't ever declare bankruptcy? Me! Oh, it's just too easy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just too easy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Then these aliens bring punch bowls down. <laughs> punch the shit way saying, <laughs> Silent Mike, you're such a hack. He's justifying why he took more money than them. What's that movie with uh, John Travolta? Uh, John, John Travolta. A Scientology is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Scientology is what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's, this is my new impression of Lady K, John. It's a cross between Lady K and Betty Loco. What do you think, John? John, what was that John Travolta film? I forget. What was it? Betty, what was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, I'm busy smoking here. You like, yeah, because that's how I talk. I talk like a man, like an old lady from Rochester. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mentality was since I was doing 45 minutes, maybe I should make more money since I'm booking the show. Yeah. And Really? 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 The only reason why you're drawing any people is because Scott the Engineer and Ronnie the Limo Dryer, Dryer and Ronnie the Limo Driver were liked. You weren't. They were the draw. Let me give you an example. When I did shows, you know, and again, keep in mind, a lot of these comics have come 
a long way. But when I was doing my show, the Stuttering John Friends Tour, nobody knew who Modi was. You know, Jim Florentine, you know, I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't, compl- he was a complete unknown, but he wasn't, you know, as famous as I was. I was the draw. Stuttering John was the name. Not Mike Boschetti. Nobody knew who that was. Melrose Larry, everyone hated. You know, Nick DiPaolo had somewhat of a following, but still, I was the draw. Of course, now, Florentine and Modi have their own big following. So, that, and, you know, I don't want this to be misconstrued because Florentine's doing really well. And Modi is like a huge star now, especially in the Jewish community. But I'm just saying, then I was the draw. So, yes, I could understand making the most money. But now, Shit, where you and Lady K are trying to somehow rationalize why why it was okay because you were fucking taking most of the money, but meanwhile you were stinking up the stage. Your act is horrendous. It sucks. You haven't updated it. It blows. That's why you've never headlined a real comedy club like I have you would never pass I was I worked the improvs all over the country that's right you see and the laugh factories so shit where it there's it's very different very different and picking the venues and yeah, setting since, it all since up since Scott the engineer doesn't have a set <laughs> Neither does Beetlejuice, you dumb fuck, Lady K. You're supposed to be a marketing guy? Neither does Beetlejuice. He doesn't have a set, but he's the draw. Man, are you this stupid? Doing anything. Entertaining. Anything. Just listen to this. He's got a real voice problem. And I wonder why his band, he doesn't sing. He's gargling on his own scum doesn't have a set he's not doing anything yeah. entertaining yeah. uh here's scott set do you have a usb to uh- it comes a bad impression by shuli oh this is just i know people i'm sorry this is tough to get through iphone cord <laughs> oh sorry the mic laugh alert uh, here's Scott set. Do you have a USB to iPhone cord? <laughs> Doing hey, anything. Yeah. Entertaining. Yeah. Uh, here's Scott set. Do you have a USB to iPhone cord? <laughs> Thank you. I need to set up my equipment. Hey, you guys familiar Not- with the Howard Stern show? Mm-hmm. I'm honest. Uh, yeah. That being uh, said, Scott did do more than John did on him. Why, Silent Mike? See, this is where Silent Mike is going to say that I didn't do any material. I just played a videotape. Lie. That is not true. I played a five-minute intro. Then I came on and did 10 minutes. And then I did five in between each comic. Well, no, I like I would do two, three, and then what I I I had about 15 minutes of material. So Silent Mike is lying to you. He wasn't there. He has no idea, and he's pretending to know. What's third show? Mm. Uh, yeah. That being uh, said, Scott did do more than John did on his because all John did was play a, nope. a, a tape, right? Absolutely. Yeah. At least nope. Scott did a stupid Where? dance to one yeah. of the Rich. Black Eyed Peas song. I have to say. John left that tape behind, much like you did with the underpants. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> John. <laughs> Hopefully someone mails it back to you. Yeah. Maybe someday. Could you imagine this is your life? This is your life. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, hold on. This is where Shuli gets mad at a super chat promoting the Levyverse. I don't know why it's cut up like this.
Uh, oh, hold on. Does this mean there is no Levy verse this morning? It was just look at his look at these assholes. It's like the minute you jump over to this side, then they start bitching about that side. So Unbelievable. Are we, are, we, are we gonna do? This is it. Bob has to realize this ship is sinking. He's got to leave. Uh, oh, hold on. Does this mean there is no Levy verse this morning? It was just look at his look at these assholes. It's like the minute you jump over to this side, then they start bitching about that side. So Unbelievable. Are we, are, we, are we gonna do mornings or are we not doing mornings? Listen, I like the afternoon evening schedule personally. Um, Number one, I like it because everyone thinks I have a morning job now at Home Depot or someplace. <laughs> See, that was a projection. He 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 probably does not a projection. That was an admittal. That was an admittance. He probably does have a morning job. Maybe it's not Home Depot. That's why he can make that joke. But he's doing something. I'm telling you. And it's hard to believe because he's fucking such a loser. I would guess. He has like a part-time job at the supermarket there. So I like that. I'd like to keep that going. You know what it is? Uh, this, yeah. this is like when people go, when are you coming to Boston? And it's like one guy <laughs> wants to know when you're coming to Boston. Yeah, yeah and you know, you're taking like, off from Logan Airport in Boston as you get the as you get the the email or the tweet. When are you coming to Boston? You go, never, never again. Can we do a BS at 1 p.m.? Why one? <laughs> now we're just catering to yeah. individual yeah. Meet per he people's wants, he needs. He wants 1 p.m. Alternative weeks. Now, maybe that's an answer. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I'll adapt, guys. Whatever you choose. It's a matter of routine for me personally. I get it. Yeah, because you don't do I it. Get it. You just fucking sit there. And look <laughs> <at me>. Teaching, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's all about me. That's right. Yep. There you go. No, it's all about me. I will take. I will take it. Uh oh, hold on. We got uh, rented the movie The Coat oh. Hanger last night. I laughed. I cried. I crapped myself. It was a good movie. The Coat Hanger. Bob, smile. You are alive today. TSN for life. Erica Ann. Boy, he he hates not smoking. I I don't know. No. I don't, no, I, I watched the coat hanger last night too. It was really fucking good. And what's it about, Bob? I don't know. Pay attention to yesterday's show. Maybe you'd know. <laughs> My God, the real world gift in five. Thank you, real world. Completely unprecipitated. What? What's the word I'm looking for? I got this one. Thank you. Love the mornings. Only yeah. all my heat. Oh my God, is that bad? Oh. Carl's doxing producer Joe. Stuttering John, if you're ever in Sun City Center, Florida, I'll buy. I don't even know what that I don't know. Uh, is that supposed to be where he lives? I have no idea. No, do I care? I mean, what a fucking bunch of fucking losers. It's fucking amazing. Emergency remedial truth. Member for 12 months. <laughs> I feel guilty about it. It's, it is hard to quit. Well, thank you, man. School. Uh, tw hey, shit, wait. That's real, you see. There's a difference. That's real. Okay? That's a real fucking member. See, shit way he's got to fucking, with all the shit he does to try and make himself look like he's successful. But he's not! Uh, Gino Bobina. Gino Bobina. Sorry. John, would you have fucked Elisa and let her off? Yes. Is that even a question? Although her body does not look good anymore. I, 
I told her when she was in Florida, when I saw her, when she accosted me in Florida, I'm like, Lisa, you let yourself go, baby. I mean, you're looking heavy. Sir Franklin, remember for two months. <laughs> Blockbuster show last night, Duke. Thanks. It was fun. I mean, look, I, I don't care if I'm fucking buzzed. What is going on over there? I mean, I'm I'm having a good time, and you know, I'm not I'm not harming anybody. I am enjoying myself, and Vince is always a great guest. We have great chemistry, and it was fun. And I love that his kids love me, and it was all good. Something's going on out there. If you don't direct, thanks for the two bucks. Looking beautiful and ripped today, Don Juan. Hashtag KC. Hashtag Vin. Uh, yeah, KC, we were trying to get on. He refused, like the big pussy, the barahawissa that he is. He wouldn't come on. I, I'll, I'll have anybody on except for the shit wearer again because he sucks or any, anybody at that shit network. I'll, I'll have Bob on though. I'm fine with Bob. I'll even do the show with me, Vinny, and Bob. Well, Vince, how about we call it the Three Amigos? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Jesus, something's alive in my garbage. S.J. Balzac. <laughs> Balzac says what? Balzac says what? I used to say that. Yeah, that was my question. Paul Sack says what? And uh, thanks for the fiber. Since you claim you don't do business with inanimates, please explain Turbs. Turbs is real. He's been on people's shows, hasn't he? Muttering J. Uh, Muttering J claims he was in, at, at Oxford. I don't have any reason. William and Suttering John Fan Club. Have I had any of these people on my show? Thank you. Lambo, one, three, two, five, seven. Thanks for the two bucks. I heard Mensa sent you a cease and desist. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not in it anymore. Oliver Jonathan. <laughs> Thanks for the tenor. Hey, John, I'm sure you've talked about it, but I haven't been able to tune in over the last few weeks. What did you take on the whole Elisa Jordana thing? Well, here's my take. She's a fucking fucking loon she's batshit crazy and i've been saying that for a long time now and nobody listened to me and this was inevitable it was going to happen and now she has a criminal record and it ain't going well now she wants to leave florida i'll play you all this don't worry you know, I'll get to everything I I plan on getting to. Albeit, aka Johnny Skillis set. <laughs> I go, uh, okay. Uh, super happy fun chatter. How are you? John, your show is Ray DeVito Levels Unwatchable. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Uh. Vegas beer sales, Jerry, my man. Lady K and Shoei lose viewers every day. People want real stuttering, John. I know. Look, I knew it was going to happen. I planned it perfectly right. I don't know. There's something's going on out there. But yeah, I waited eight months, waited till they both were vulnerable. Then, boom, I came in. And have levied the death knell punch on their fucking occupations. And now they will fucking sit there, try and pretend they're doing well, but they are not. But Jerry, I'm going to probably see you. I have a reason to go to Vegas now. Ryan A., 
Thanks for the two bucks. Johnny, my man, my main man. Keep winning. Skull. Thanks, Ryan A. Xander Cruz. I like that name, Xander. You're winning. Show us your apartment. Yeah, I'm winning. My son graduates in two months. Then I might leave beautiful California and reside in the purple state of Florida. Mm -hmm. I went down this road Wasting my time all in my life. That that was me and Susanna's favorite show, Ally McBeal. James O'Sullivan. Thanks for the two bucks. I'm mowing the lawn. Thank you, James. It's glad that, you know, um, James O'Sullivan, any stuttering John lawn care tips for your fans? I don't, uh, I don't manscape. Mm -mm. A real hot girl that you guys scared off the internet. Alexis used to, we used to talk all the time and she would say, I like, I like, you just, just let it natural. Now, you know, you could trim my guess, but I'm not going to start, you know, really caring. I got a nice full black bush. Kel Norris, I am Dr. Remulac. Thanks for the dollar. Daniel Patrick, my man. Thanks for the five bucks. For your information, Mike David from Red Bar is live right now showing leaked text he claims are yours. Sick deviant stuff. Very gross. Gross. Hope it's fake, John. Please address ASAP. Really? Is he? I, I've never texted that guy anything. I don't even know his number. Uh, I don't see it live. Uh, no, he's not live. You're just fucking with me. It's okay. Mick Kraut. Mick Kraut. If you're a comic, why aren't you witty or funny? Well, I have an act that's witty and funny. No, 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 no. Thanks for the fiver. Just realized... We're watching a clip of Shuli and Carl sitting in their basements on a Friday night giggling about stuttering John. Hacks! You're exactly right, Noga. And could you imagine that's their lives? Shitway says my name more than he says his behemoth's name. That animal that lives with him. Billy. Thanks for the two bucks. Monitor, put me in timeout. Always have you back. I didn't put you in timeout. Uh, Joseph Silva. Thanks for the fiber. Hero of the stupid. But even they look like genius geniuses next to you now. There's nobody smarter than me in the Dabbleverse. That's a fact. And I'm sorry. It's just the truth. And, you know, I, I have the receipts. I went to the number 38th university in the world, graduated, passed my real estate exam first time in Ace to Sea Best. Yeah, it, that's called smart. Not Jimmy Stewart. Thanks for the twenty. <laughs> do do up downtown. Do up do do up. Downtown, do I met a guy in the village? He was screaming from his box, wanted me to donate for some free bagels and locks. Do you up downtown? Do you up? Do you up downtown? Do you up? How's that? Thank you. Jessica Hahn, my lady, thanks for the fiber. Can't wait to come on the show, John. I've been dying to know. Could Susanna or Deep Throat? Uh, 
Oh, I don't. I mean, come on, man. James O'Sullivan. I mean, I'm not going to talk about, you know, things like that. Uh, thanks for the fiber. Wait, you don't like Bob Levy, right? So you don't want him to stay on the sinking ship. Shouldn't we be trying to trick him to stay on Shuliverse? No, I don't. If there was, if, if you just say, John, you can only save one person on this boat. Shitwear or Bob? I'd say Bob. That's just a fact. Uh, okay, thank you for the dollar. John's Ready Whip Cam. Read Super Chats. Yell Doc's Enemies. Brilliant show, Fatso. Yet you watch every minute of every time that I'm on. And you give me lots and lots of money. So who is the loser? The loser or the loser that follows him? Thank you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Ryan Granger. Brian, Byron Granger. You blocked me. Ice Wallow come. Okay, this is unblock day. Here we go. I'm, block, I'm unblocking everybody. Here we go. Unblock day. No banned guests, okay? Let's go to YouTube. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Now, unblock Tim Dransky. And Bessie, Mr. Doodle, Trip to Malu, Fake Gina Bobina, Nilax, Frankie Polanka, Flappich, Stroke Mount says what? Benji Horse, Frosty, Not Doom, Gina Bobina, Fake One, Attack on Timmy, John's Post Stroke Lobster Claw, Coop M, Nobody Likes Onions, DK, Christian Estrada, hey, would you blow me? Coward dabbling, fake mother, no gusto. Michael Shoes, Coco Marie, Stugatz, your mom's box, Mitch Connor, Stoneman, 623, Jason, Casino Police, John's neck has disappeared, Tiger Lily, Pool Scam Sam, Pope Girl 76, Brandon Smythe, Osler, why don't Karen Picks and John Kids with Dabbling Network, Budsicle, another fake Gina Babina, another fake Gina Babina, Danny, Gobble Monster Puppet, Rotten Rhino, Truth Seeker Nose, Chef Rachel Ciaz, another fake Gina Bobina, Otoye Agamucci, Turbo Melendez, Angry Chair, Albert Fish is a Real Jerk. Why don't you only why do you only post old pictures of my kids? Because I don't want you guys fucking on the new pictures. Tampa Seven. Hey Cone Unity Boy. John's new grandbaby. Okay, DG loves egg. Uh, okay, Vic Fudge Signal, Dale Whitworth, A Sleeper, Oscar Ramirez, and there, there, all unblocked. They are all unblocked. There is not one person who's now blocked. So I don't want to hear it anymore. There we go. Joseph Silva. Thanks for the two bucks. You lost 50 people last night in 20 minutes and just lost 12 and five. Thank you. Thank you for counting. James L. Sullivan, thanks for the ducks. What is your bet for date Shuley versus shuts down? Well, I don't think he'll shut it down. He'll he'll stand in there for even a couple dollars. Benny Loco. John, can you do a reenactment of Kenny Pogue and me having sex with a little Kenny Pogue domestic violence mixed in? Uh uh, oh, hey, it's Kenny Pogue. Hey, it's Betty. Hey, Betty. Betty. Betty, bend over. All right, slip it in, please, slowly. <laughs> James O'Sullivan, thanks for the fiber. Thanks for the fiber. Red Bar Show isn't on YouTube. It's behind paywall on his website. Oh, I don't watch him, but I sub because he's a good Chicago boy that likes Portillo's. Well, Tell me if he's reading it. I don't think, first of all, I don't have his number. So if he's saying that I'm sending him shit, that's that's bullshit. I would never, you know, first of all, I like the guy. You know, I don't care if he says anything bad about him. I think he's good at what he does. 
Uh, I don't, you know, I don't see, I don't know why he would trash me, but if he does, he does. Uh, you know, it's fair game. I'm a fair game. I'm a big boy. I can say it. I don't give a shit. I can say all you want about me. Uh. Mm. Mm. All right, there we go. Just take all my pills. John's ready up can. So a DM of you asking Heather for money to pay mortgage. What? What are you talking about? When now I, 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 my pension pays my mortgage. That's ridiculous. James O'Sullivan, thanks for two bucks. I bet some sweet air would make today 10, 10 for you. I love sweet air. Peter Chicken Man Brennan, thanks for two bucks. For your information, my bro Kev scored 152 IQ on the Norm Show. KBO starring John. I, my IQ is 160 now. So he's he needs eight more points. All right, now let's go to where are we going to? Uh, <coughs> okay. Let me, uh, where is it? Uh, this is where, now, I'm going to destroy Aaron Immelt. Okay, all right, let me go here. Uh... Probably get it on Citizen M, but I could go. I think I can get it here too. Uh, all right. Now we're going to watch this fucking. Uh, point to war on your shirt. You get one try. There you go. How's that? <laughs> Boom! You tried. You tried. You dumb fuck. All right. Okay. Let's see now. So let's get to the beginning of this. Listen, clubs for money. Previously on Steel Toe Morning Show. Ever heard of the dabble verse? I have not. What's that? I'm Stutter and John. Would my wife dance topless in clubs for money? <laughs> Stutter and John's in rent. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Our new announcer. I'm so happy to be here. Stuttering John. Boom! <sighs> my hands and my feet itch. I thought you had dabbled occasionally in stand-up. Did you listen to the Who Are These podcast episode about you? And if so, how did you take it? Meanwhile. I mean, this is, this is my life. I want to spend the rest of my life with Ashley Overout. And I've consented to give my hand in marriage. You're the one that always gets in accidents. And are you driving with the kids? That is a terrifying concept. Drive with me. They'll get there sooner. Oh, my God. No, unless you get pulled over, then you actually take longer. Well, that's when you, honey, no that's when you use the kids as leverage. It's over. What Robert is trying to say is that I want a divorce. Like that was in very bad taste. I didn't think Not it was Not to in mention bad a taste. violation of privacy. Whose privacy. Our privacy, the family's privacy. I think it is a very private matter. Is that what you mean? Excuse me? I don't know. Apparently I've been cucked. No, I had a very personal matter to attend to. Oh, a personal matter? Fun. 
Would you like to talk about it? No, babe. That's why it's called a personal matter. Oh. Aaron's parents did not want eight foot around his children. Aaron married it was a really shitty mistake stuttering john has a trans kid you know what i'm gonna do make fun of his trans i'm gonna make kid. fun of his transgender kid if you don't think there is a okay now listen listen aaron i'm gonna tell you this right now you done fucked up now now i'm gonna laugh at your second divorce april if you're watching let me take you to france seriously because this monster look what he's going to do now and i'm only going to say this because this is the most ridiculous i don't i know i don't play anything about my kids but this is so ridiculous this is what this idiot thinks causes trans dark place in john's soul a place that he doesn't even like going to himself because he he's worried he'll never come out of it that goes i wonder if my behavior as a father if being the drunken dipshit buffoon on the radio every day if being the subservient cuck boy to all these people on the stern show for all these years okay go ahead if that ever led my daughter to be ashamed of me, mm -hmm. if that ever led her to not have any male guidance, if that led her to lash out and rebel, and that might be part of why they're trans today. A retard. Okay, now, that is the most ridiculous fucking thing that I've ever heard. <laughs> First of all, dipshit, Aaron M. Holt. When I was on the Stern show, I was a main character on the show. I wasn't the cuck. And I did most of the ball busting. Yeah, Howard busted my balls sometimes. But for the most part, I was the ball buster. I was the shit stirrer. Now let's get to your alcoholic comment. You know, when I was working on the Stern show, we had to be there at 5.45 every morning. I weren't drinking at all during the week. That be a fact. In fact, you dumb fuck, I would get home from the Stern Show after having lunch with Artie, take a nap, yes, I did, and then I would go for a jog with my dog Gunter around the streets of Manhattan, come home, have dinner, watch TV with the kids, put the kids to bed, maybe make love to Susanna, and then me and Susanna will go to bed. She usually would go watch TV while I had to go to bed early, around 8, 9 o'clock. That's what I did. Now, getting into your ridiculous assessment on why anybody would become trans, let me tell you something, dipshit. Caitlyn Jenner, yes. Dylan Mulvaney, one of my, one of the other Tonight Show writers. Let's just say his son transitioned into being a girl, and this person never drank at all, still can't because he has diaticulitis, and him and his wife had were not cucks of the Stern Show. So your fucking assessment is so fucking ridiculous. And now I love that April is leaving you. Now I'm happy about it. You are a fucking dickhead. You got it? Steel toe? You fucking little fucking twerp. Holy shit. You sicken me. Unbelievable. What a fucking dipshit. Him, 
Holy shit, it's amazing. Alert. It certainly contributed. I if guess. he says he doesn't ever think about it, he's a fucking liar and it hurts. No, I'm not, dumbass. No, I'm not. No. It, you think you're some kind of fucking psychologist? You, you're on your second divorce. Hurts too much for him to admit it. Yep, there's, there's not even a small chance that he hasn't thought that. I got to tell you, this Citizen M guy does a really good job. Those of you with your divorce counter, it's not that kind of fucked up. It's pretty fucked up, though. I like this. She's not there, and he has to address that she's not there, and he's telling on the air that things aren't going good at the Steel Toe household. Uh, M. Holt, Aaron, and April are uh, not doing well. I Sorry, it. is there a problem? Guys, what the fuck are we doing here with the modding? Knock it off. God damn it. Oh, my God. This is the shit. Okay, like, I, this will make me uncomfortable. This type of shit. Okay. I'm honestly, like, I'm taking it. Yeah. To thing, too. So there's another thing people are fucking with me on. Aaron is great at sex. I'm going to go pee so he can calm the fuck down. You are insane. I was just sitting upstairs listening to you kvetching. You're having crazy behavior right now. That is crazy. That's all. I do too. You're well, insane. That is almost narcissistic behavior just because somebody didn't sit here and say, oh my God, I'm so tired. Priority. I felt you change. You did that thing in the show where I felt the other person doing a fun if show I was, with me change. If I, was I will sit here and tell you that as your co-host, somebody doing the show with you and having fun, I did not get that vibe from you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Steel Toe Morning Show. Good morning and welcome. It's the Steel Toe Evening Show. Why? Because my life is a fucking mess. <laughs> you know why your life is a mess? Because you're a dipshit. You're an idiot. And look what you did. You fucking thought you were on top of the world. And now the walls come crumbling down. Yeah, the walls come crumbling, crumbling. Yeah, the walls come crumbling. You're fucking, you're done. You're done. And now I'd be happy. All these people. They're just fucking either dying or they're fucking losing. And it's fucking a pleasure to watch. I was watching. I can't find it now. Some guy sent me AJ Benza. Oh, my God. He was fucking. He was fucking. He sounds like he's dying. Uh, so, I mean, uh, let me get to some of these super chats. Uh, all right. Albeit, Shuli has a bathroom bigger than your apartment. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. That is not true. But it's a nice try. Swing and a miss. Ace is the place for the night of hard work, folks. Name all the continents, you dumb. Up, not for two bucks. Do, 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 do. James O'Sullivan, thanks for the two dollars. What's on itinerary for France trip with April? Sex. Gunther is a trans cat now. Okay, Ace. You are a dumb fuck, you realize that. First of all, Gunther was a dog. Second of all, Gunter is spelled G-U-N-T-E-R. Swing enemies. Man. Dabble Storian 
It's Rochi's birthday. Can you shout him out? I don't know who he is. Well, yeah. Hey, Rochi, happy birthday. Gina, Gino Bobina. Thanks for the five bucks. Stop thanking Leo Gunn at the end for Super Chats. Guy's either not here or gives $2. What happened? I think, I think like Brock Lee's been gone, too. I think tax day is coming, and I think a lot of people are going, holy shit, I got fucking, I got to pay a lot of taxes because I haven't seen any of them. Uh, so now we got to get to this Elisa Jordana shit. And this is just like fucking what the fuck? Okay. This is like the short version, but we'll play the short version first. So. Talk to me. If I have a mugshot, they will never talk to me. Can I work free for free? I don't even have to pay me. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want. No. I, just so I don't have mugshot. I'll pay any, any, any amount. I'm so stupid. You should arrest me for stupidity. If anything. Actually, please do not arrest me for anything. Just take me to a mental I will move out of Florida. You want me to do that? I don't like it here. I'm going to move to New, Jer New Jersey. I go. Wherever. New York. Maryland. But I swear to God on my life, on all my family that we know about. I know. You're awesome. I like you. I like She's 10 15. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Are the other women gonna beat me up? I can't believe this. My mom, my mom will never talk to me. Are you gonna arrest me? We were begging you. I, my family is never gonna talk to me. If I have a mugshot, they will never talk to me. Can I work free for free? I don't even have to pay me. I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever, whatever you want. want. I, just so I don't have a mugshot, I'll pay. Man. Fucking hell, man. She she really went off the deep end. It's fucking amazing. Fuck. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's try this. Someone has it. I guess got to find it. Just give me a second. Uh, I know Muttering Jay posted. Uh, so Aaron Immel, you're an idiot. And now you fucked it. You, now you pissed me off. Uh... Okay, so let's let's watch more of this Lisa Jordana. This just keeps going worse for her. Couldn't happen to a bigger asshole. Imagine if you're Benji now. He's got to be like, holy shit. Fucking what? He, he, fucking Benji's got to be like, I made the best decision in my entire fucking life. This girl is a fucking loon. Uh, I wish you could give me my phone. No way. Uh, not right. Let, let, let the fire department get here first and let me talk to my partner. Give me an honest opinion on something. If I started this, but I was oh, police violence. Cool. What? You're a police officer. You should know. If I, yes, but I haven't got his side of the story. No, but his side story is going to be I beat him up and I decided to kill him. That's what's going to look really bad on me. Do you think I'm going to jail? So you only slapped him one No, a few times. Like that. So you slapped him a few times. Like that. All right, so, you know how women do. They beat yeah, you. I, I, I don't know. So I've only seen him walking past him, I saw him, right? Yeah, but he has a lot of scratches him, but they're not for me. Okay, well, he's, that's what I'm going to say. He has one. Man, her voice is so fucking annoying. Ugh. I swear, like she's hot until she starts talking. She don't look that hot anymore. <coughs> Whoa, it was a big one. Uh, Dick 89, thanks for the five bucks. Spill the beans on the Michael Caputo correspondence. 
Has he made a pass at you yet? Uh, no, but he agreed to come on the show, but not until July. Pat Cooper, what would have been, I think, his 94th birthday and 95th birthday. Uh, right, let's get back to fucking Elisa. Yes. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Vince, I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. Ah. Uh. Now, even though I'm trying to be funny, thank you, Vince. You know you're gonna have fucking call going. John, he act, he talked Spanish. He he didn't know that the guy. He, he thinks he thought that was Russian. No, you dumb fuck. I'm I'm making a joke, but you wouldn't know that. No, I'm saying if I were to take you both to jail. You would be booked in, and you would see a judge in the morning. That's what would happen if you guys went to jail. And then, do you guys live together? No, right now we are. I'm so stupid. I'm so yes. stupid. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. I'm so you guys, stupid. how long have you guys been living together? We just started. He just moved here. It's so fucked up. This how, is the worst situation. How long have you guys been together? I know him for like six months. He's been cheating on me the whole time. This is my fault. So you, just more violent you, than How long have you guys been engaged or had the marriage? Four months. Really stupid. Okay, early. so you met him six months ago. I thought you said he'd been cheating on you for two years. Okay, so okay, this is a good point. He has had a crush on me, or whatever, for like eight years. Do you know okay. knows me from the radio? I'm a radio has, person. How long have you been dating? Since after my birthday, so after June. June of last year. Yeah. So. He's gonna want me in prison. Almost, almost he, a year. He's gonna, and he's rich, so he can get me in prison for life. You, think you, guys, you guys live together now? We were gonna. Okay, you said you just started. We're in the Airbnb right now. Okay, so you guys are living My mom probably thinks I'm dead right now. Like we a, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute, okay? I'm still trying to figure out what is going on. Yeah. We're going to have the EMS check you out. I'm going to talk to my partner. See what your fiance you over here said, and we're going to go from there. I think I'm going to jail. Do you think? Oh, man. At least you're fucking not aging well, baby. Got to lay off the sweets. Jesus. Uh, John's ready whip can. Uh, do all Mensa members sneeze all over their floor? Oh, you should see what some of them do. It, don't think just because you're a genius, it means that you're not going to have some wacky fucking habits. Because some of these guys, I mean, and OCD is prevalent among a lot of them. But uh, I don't know. Do do do. brother thank you sir thank you so when we do a when i go over and do a sleep stream with perry we'll do up until we can do and then we can take a nap in between we'll do 24 hours Tom. Take a nap. 24 take hours nap. jim if jim says it's he okay he's got it then i'll take all that stuff and then go to sleep and 
he'll have to deal with take it. Nap. Yeah. Take nap. Lady Cage can take another. Jim Fanny, you gave me the wrong time. I'm, you fucking know you didn't. Put down your guitar and understand what's going on here. Look, Look out. Like it looks like you're holding guitar. Right? Take another nap. See it? it like but that's that. underneath. What? Oh. You see, it's underneath, but it looks like he has a guitar, like a, a, a Prince guitar, like a purplish uh, pink guitar. Who party at Bob's at five? No. Not not yet. Uh, judge your levels. Love you, Bob, but hate Catalano TV. Us Sicilians hate East Coast fake tough guy. Go mug that. Well, you know, we don't know. We don't know if it's a fact. Hate is a strong word now. Yeah, hate is a strong word. You know what a strong, another strong word is? You have your wife on your show, Bob. (laughs) I wish everybody thought I was as funny as she was. You shock me. I'll shock you. I shock you all the time. (laughs) Reservoir uh, Borough of Toilets Fire. Please practice toilet usage today, or we will send over Mike Maurice. Uh, and Zanzoni and McDonald's delivery. Jim said, uh, yes. so, "Well, Jim yes. said so. We we're gonna have to." Dave Dabble at two dollars. Your back nipple is still blinking. And what? The, the, I asked Doctor Steve if it was normal for a man to have three or maybe four nipples. Man, Bob, you're and, old, bro. And he said, basically, it is very normal. It is very normal. So basically, I'm okay. But I will not, you will not know where the fourth one is. You will never know where it is. And that's it. John sniping you. Hey, Johnny. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Hey. Hit the like button, motherfuckers. I want them all again. Oh, it's blinking again. Jesus Christ. What am I going to do? I got to bang it. Bang it. Nope. So, well, Jim said so. We're going to have to. Dave Dabble at $2. You're back now at that. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll start blocking motherfuckers. I'll start blocking motherfuckers right now. You want to come at me with that kind of shit? That's crazy. No, but I mean, look, there, there, there. I just got the visual. There could be a fourth uh, nipple, but. Bob, we'll why are you going to do this Stop. with me and Vince? Not, just don't, don't even give these motherfuckers Bob, a. But it's in the air. Stop <laughs> it. Would you stop it? It's not, there is no fourth nipple then. Okay. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. God. Bob, you're only going to get the And you're not even on till tomorrow. I'm sorry. You know, and you come in here and you know. Hey, man, it's okay. I got into a conversation. Oh, God, now I'm blanking. He's always highlights most of my envelopment, inconvenient, whatever. You got a little creepy and I, I, I hit on it by accident. Matt, calm the fuck down. It's okay. I can't stop. Uh, I, okay, I got it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, the French. Look at Bob having fun. I drew, uh, what happened? Bob not make a million. Oh, uh, I, I already made a million. I did. You don't think I made a million? No. In my life? <laughs> I mean, everybody basically makes it. Everyone made a million, I think, right? Maybe I have two. Yeah, maybe you have two. I believe everybody made a million. We're all millionaires. Because we all made a million at one point, you know? Uh, that, that, that's the whole thing. Kenneth Pogue, what's up, bro? I, I, I would say half the people in here are millionaires. You know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, maybe. And, and stuff you own, stuff you, you know, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. How did you make a million dollars, Bob? I mean, come on, man. Come on. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I did. But I was making five hundred thousand dollars a year. There's a big difference. Uh, Dick eighty nine. Thanks for five bucks. You think Lisa would have given up the goods had you were allowed her to sleep at your Florida home? No, she's asexual. Lisa Joe Dana told me that she n- could never orgasm during intercourse and doesn't believe any woman ever orgasms during intercourse. What? Almost every. Girl, I've ever been with orgasms during intercourse. Whoever you're banging, Lisa, ain't doing it right. I feel like you would have worth the headache for one night. Never. Oh, no, I don't think. Nah, Dick, there's no fucking way. And I am coming to the Keys in July. So so uh, beers are on you. 
Tivo Bobo. Thanks to Dorks. Have a good weekend, John. Thanks for the Saturday show. Yeah, I wasn't even gonna do one today because, but thank you, Tivo. It's because, like, I like I watch the Yankees. We all know I'm a staunch Yankee and Giant fan. I mean, that's a fact, Jack. And I like the Jets too. But if the Yankees are on, I'm like, oh, come on, man. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to watch. And then when we got to the ninth inning, as soon as we went to commercial break, I went and took a shower. By the time I got out of the shower, Clay Holmes fucking, I guess, got them all out. And the Yankees win. The Yankees win. Thank you, John Sterling. So, uh, yeah, and then... So now they have the first of a doubleheader. The next game starts at three. So, you know, it's all Yankees. Dick89, thanks for the fiver. Send Bobby the link, John. Podcasting history. I would if I weren't going to get out of here soon. But uh, I think I got to do after that fucking energy drink. And then uh, I got some things I got to do. Oh, so my other computer. I do have the computer that always, you know, locked up. I use it as my spare, like, you know, if I'm on my bed, I like, I, you know, I don't care about it as much as this brand new one. So I was like, all right. And then I'm on it yesterday. I'm watching, um, I'm watching Vince and the thing just stops working. It just goes dead. So now I got to go to the same fucking guy. I, I told him I was going to be there at 115. I got to drop it off. And then hope he can fix the fucking thing again. Because I like having two computers. It's it, And it's only a 2020, so it should be okay. Dr. Scotty Jones. Remember, for three months. <laughs> hey, shit, where? See, that's a real membership. Have you and KB been swapping spit? Or did you get the herbs somewhere else? It's not, it's not the herbs. I cut myself shaving. I felt it too. I was like, fuck. But I'm getting a new brawn on Amazon because my friend Mediated Mike said I should get the brawn and it's electric and you don't cut yourself because I'm getting sick. Every time I fucking shave, I cut myself. Uh, Chupa Mivaga. Keep up the good fight, Johnny Boy. F. Shuley. Shitway is a loser. You know, I can't believe th these guys actually think they're winning and they're not, but they think they are. They And I don't know. Like, at some point, you guys or whoever watches them are going to fucking come to the realization that it's all smoke and mirrors. They don't have 1,400 people watching. That's a, that's a scam. Most of the gifted... Uh, memberships are bogus a lot of the super chats are bogus they're dying which is why you only had shit where in silent mike bob wasn't there log cabin larry's not there just like vince vince the lawyer predicted they are imploding and as soon as shit where made it okay to cancel gigs they're all doing the same Vince, you were spot on. And as I said before, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Thank you. Uh, hey, now, you're an all-star. Get the game on. Get laid. Hey, now, LS. Thanks for the two bucks. Malware, my man. Thanks for the tenor. <laughs> Rumor is Stevie Lou has already screwed KB. Chatters are saying Stevie Lou is accessing personal info of Super Chatters. Chad, nobody can stomach the Zomach touches on it in his podcast. I will not, I will not chat MLC again, ever. Well, thank you, Malware, and you are welcome here. And I told Kevin the same thing. As soon as Kevin fucking has made Stevie Lou his replacement for Adam. That's it. It's over. It's over, Kevy. I mean, you should have consulted me. 
I mean, because you don't want a person as despised as Stevie Lou or Rain Man. You don't want these guys. You want somebody like. Somebody who people like. And there's not many in the Dabbleverse, and I'll admit that. But you got to find somebody that people like. And if I think of someone, I'll let you know. Someone to be capable at it. You know, you should make a... How about Felicia Gillespie? Have her be your guy. Have, have, have her be the guy. She'd be good. That's it, Malware. Tell me what you think about that idea. Felicia Gillespie, let her be the mod. Let her be the producer. She's smart. She can run things. And she's she's nice to look at. She's funny. She's a comedian. I think that's the way to go, Kev. I hope you're watching me. I'll listen for your answer tonight. But Malware, you should fucking do me a favor and write that to him. Malware, my man. Thanks for the fiber. A known criminal has access to private info. Bad move, KB. Is Stevie Lou a criminal? I never knew that. What did he do to get himself arrested? Is everybody a fucking criminal in his dabble verse? Shit, you had fucking the FBI show up at Levy's house. I mean, Elise has been arrested. Pocky was arrested. I mean... Uh, Trailer Trash Phil was arrested. I mean, I mean, it's a shit way he didn't graduate high school. Bob didn't graduate high school. Shit way he declared bankruptcy. Log Cabin Larry, no, Moonhead declared bankruptcy, not Log Cabin Larry in 2007. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's like everybody's either a criminal, bankrupt. Joey C's a criminal. I mean, a lot of these guys are fucking criminals. It's fucking crazy. I know I'm leaving people out, too. Hey, now, LS, thanks for the two bucks. John, the OG, ever get down here to Palm Springs? I have it in a while, but I do like it there. But if you ever come up here, man, beer's on me. Beer's on me. Roberto Rogers, how are you, brother? Felicia doesn't want to date you. How do you know? Did you ask her? Because I thought I had something going there. Now, I've never hit on Felicia, but I did tell that because <laughs> everyone calls her fucking Skeletor. And I'm like, Felicia, you don't look like Skeletor. You're a beautiful woman. So I, I was trying to be nice. I wasn't hitting on her, though. You know, she's in New York. Uh, but there's my little... Uh, this is where I cut myself shaving. It is funny that it's in the same spot as Kevin's fucking herpes. I never had any fucking lip herpes or anything. I never had herpes at all. Uh, but um, Handy Randy, take it to France. Yeah, I should. Uh, John will call the cops on you if you go near him. Ask Lisa. Talk to Scotty Jones. Well, here's the thing, dude. I didn't know if she was showing my address. And I didn't call the cops on her. So you got to make sure. That you got, you know, that, that that you're accurate here. I, you know, I did call the cops on Chad because the guy has been arrested for, you know, vandalism and shit. And I gotta, you know, I gotta protect my fucking assets. Thank God I have the ring now, so I could see, you know, in front of my house. Thanks to my buddy John out there. But um, yeah. So I mean, uh. <laughs> is this fucking Andrea Brower? Are you back again? Because I'm not emailing anybody. So if, if that is you, get it together. Because I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, let's see. Double story. And it's Roach you Give him a shout out. I did. Uh, Dick, uh, beer is on you. <laughs> yeah, Dick, I know. Beers are on me. I was only kidding. 
Don't get your panties in an uproar. But here is Michael Caputo. Uh, let's see. I'd absolutely love to come on uh, late July. His father's birthday is July 31st. So he'll be 95. He would have been 95. There are a few reasons I like to do it around the time. We'll discuss. Sure. So, okay. Uh, so I'm going to write it. Sounds good. Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so now he has that. And so now we know I will do the show with Mr. Caputo. Malware, my man. Thanks for the five bucks. And um, there's a video of Steve Lou trying to assault a guy named Dave on his show. I can't remember his name. RP MLC told you about it. Oh, okay. Where's RP been? I mean, that's awesome. That guy came around. Uh, but yeah, man, I like, you know, Kevin's going to lose people with Stevie Lou. It's a fact, Jack. I mean, Stevie Lou's a fucking cancer and you don't want that guy to be your moderator, Kev. He's just not the guy you want. You know, Felicia would be good. I'm trying to think. I mean, you burned the Pat Dixon one cause he might've been okay. Uh, how about Chad? I mean, even Chad is. Chad is more likable than Stevie Lou. I mean, I don't know. See, I don't, I don't want a mod. I don't want a producer. It just ain't my thing, you know. So, you know, I'm not gonna do it. You know, there's no fucking way that I'm gonna want a fucking mod. Somebody wrote to me that if Howard Stern cared about his fans, he would have a lot of us back on for at least one last time. Now, how great would it be if Howard Stern had me, Jackie, Artie, Scott the Engineer, Scott D. Pace? I mean, how great would that be, Doug Goodstein, Grillo, to have all of us, like, back for a week, have, like, a few each day? But, uh, you know, he just doesn't want to do it. I, it's, it's stupid, if you ask me. But, hey, you know, Howard's the GOAT. So he can do whatever he fucking wants. You know, he don't he don't need any advice from me. But if I was his padutha, I would tell him that. Roberto Rogers, thanks for the two bucks. Stevie Lewis hotter than you. Well, I don't I don't know what you're into, but um I don't really care. Dick 89, I agree, Chad would be best. Yeah. I mean, have like somebody on. But um uh uh, RP MLC legend, my man. <laughs> Thanks for the 50. As long as the inmates are running the asylum, I will not send super chats to a site that has a guy that can't be trusted. No way. Chad was talking about it, but I think it's more of a concern that something that has actually happened, uh, than something that has actually happened. Yeah, I don't, RP, I don't understand it. I really don't get it. Like, Kev's pretty smart. And, it, like, I think Kevin's just trying to, like, he feels bad for Stevie. But fuck Stevie. Stevie got himself into this poverty thing, and he can't get himself out. Look, you know, we all hit rock bottom. I hit rock bottom. It happens. And I built myself back up. I became a school teacher, and I, you know, I didn't have to touch any stock. Didn't have to touch any of my annuities and didn't touch any college funds. And then slowly built myself back up. I bought a condo. I made bank on my condo. That's what you do. You know, when you, you know, you gotta, you know, just keep on keeping on. And that's exactly what I did. But, you know, so Stevie Lou is now fucking broke and Kevin feels bad. So Kevin's got to fucking give him a job, but Kevin's risking losing his fan base. And I, I'm happy to pick up the slack because let's face it, as Kate Meany told me today, Ke me and Kev, we have the best shows in the Dalbaverse. And that is a fact. You know, I enjoy Kevin. And I, of course, I'm going to put my show there. And you know who I'll put as the 
Number three show, you're not going to like this, Vince the Evil Lawyer. Yeah, I'll put Vince at number three. I put me at one, KB at two, and then Vince. So KB would put him at one and me at two. and But then I would put Vince at three. That's just the truth. And only because, like, Vince is not going to fucking kiss the shit way his ass. Vince is not going to kiss Lady K's ass. You know, look, Vince will fucking trash me. I get it. Vince is going to do Cape Coral hit pieces. I get it. I don't particularly give a shit. I mean, it somehow gets Vince off, but I think Vince just likes looking at the fucking, the reporters from Wink, since he said last night that his wife, Lori, ain't banging him. And Lori, if you're, if you're watching today, Devin Alexander, tell your mom, I'll gladly, you know, you know, I'll gladly, you know, you know, be the bang or. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm here. Have Dick will travel. So, you know, if, if, if you're too disgusted by Vince, I'm here, baby. Lori, I'm here. So, you know, uh, if you haven't, if you have a Jones and I'll be in New York in June, you know, so we could, uh, you know, you know, I'll get us to four seasons and we could just spend all night, all night. And then in the morning, we have that morning sex. And then you can go home and look at your fucking bald husband. I'm sure, Vince will be okay with it. I told him I'd give him a grand anyway. This will be like an indecent proposal, the poor man's fucking version. $1,000 for your wife. $1,000. Uh, uh, Let's see. Um, I'm missing anybody. But RP, thank you so much. Again, RP, if you're ever in my area, if you ever want to fucking hang, uh, beers are on me. And that's a fact. Jack, take it to the bank. I will certainly pay. Um, but anyway. So uh, it is, uh, like I said, I got to get out of here. I got to go to the computer store before they close, try and get this fucking computer fixed. But uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow. I, I was going to take Sunday off, but um, I don't know. You know, I, I'll, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably do a show. I spent most of this morning calling more Tonight Show people, inviting them to the big 10-year reunion party. So uh you know that I'm that I'm throwing and it should be a good time. Uh Patrick B, thanks for the five bucks. John, you are a joke. 58 years old, telling people how cool you are. Okie dokie, Fonzie. Hey. Hey. Uh, it's Rochi's birthday. Happy birthday, Rochi. There you go. All right. Uh, anyway, let me thank all the super chatters. Emergency Remedial Truth, Gino Bobino. Gino Bobina, sorry. Gino, Gino Bobina. Gino Bobina. I got to get this. Sir Franklin, uh, funeral director, S.J. Bolzak, Vambo, Oliver Jonathan, Albie, super happy fun chatter, Vegas Beer Sales, Jerry, Ryan A., Xander Cruz, James O'Sullivan, Kel Norris, Daniel Patrick, Mick Kraut, Noga, Noga, Billy, Joseph Silva, not Jimmy Stewart, Jessica Hahn, uh, SJ Son is a female, John's Ready Whip Can, Brian Granger, um, Benny Loco, um, Peter Chicken Man Brennan, Met 1971, albeit AK Johnny Skill is set, Ace, uh, Dabble Storian, uh, Dick 89, uh, Tivo Bobo, Dr. Scotty Jones, Chupa Maverga, Hey Now LS, Malware, um, Roberto Rogers, um, RP MLC Legend, and Patrick B. And uh, thank you very much. I'll be back tomorrow at 11.
PDT. This is Stuttering John saying, Gee,